Big blue power hammers all come with quick connect hoses. While they're easy and fast to take apart and put back together, this video will cover a few tricks that will help to make the process go smoothly and make sure you don't damage the fitting or cause leaks in the process. If you have a new hammer, new hammers are often shipped with the cylinder removed. Also, if you have to make repairs, upgrades, or add-ons, you may find yourself working on the air system of the hammer. All the fittings on our hammer are quick connects. The quick connect works by sealing a small rubber o-ring around the inserted hose, thus sealing off the compressed air from escaping. While holding the hose in with a set of retractable blades, this system keeps the seal while allowing for the hose to flex and swivel. Cutting the hose to length is sometimes necessary, either to remove a damaged end or fit a new hose. There are many ways to cut the hose used on our machines. We use a special hose cutter, but it is hard to cut it close to the end. You can use a regular knife and even insert a wooden dowel into the end to trim off small pieces. In the end, it doesn't matter how you cut it, rather more so that the cut is square and clean. It needs to be devoid of burrs and any sharp edges. Pieces that hang onto the end of the hose can cause leaks and even damage the o-ring and the fitting. Once the o-ring is damaged, the fitting must be replaced. Once you have trimmed the end of the hose, wipe it with an oiled rag. Using WD-40 or even air tool oil will allow the hose to move easily in and out of the fitting. When inserting the hose, it must be straight. Pushing the hose in at an angle can damage the fitting. In cold climates, it's a good idea to even warm the hose and fitting with a heat gun or hair dryer to make sure the rubber hose and o-ring move past each other well. You should feel a little bit of resistance as you push past the o-ring and then the hose will stop at the back of the fitting. To remove the hose, you simply remove all compressed air from the machine and make sure it is locked in the off position. Push the hose in and retract the blades holding the hose in the fitting by applying even pressure to the ring on the fitting. This could be done by hand, but we like to use a wrench to apply even pressure. Once this is done, then simply pull the hose out of the fitting. If it doesn't come out easily, apply forward pressure to the hose and try again. Once you have all the hoses together, slowly turn the air on. If you suspect any leaks, then you can use soap and water to check the end of the fitting as well as filling for air leaks with your hand. Take care of your equipment and you help it take care of you. Thanks and subscribe to keep up with what is new with Blue.